How's it going, everybody? It is your favorite apostates again. I am McKay. I'm Jordan. And uh, today we got a video coming at you from, we're going to be reacting to Nate and Sutton. But before that, we do have a little bit of uh, some updates to address before we get to that. Um, So today, um, that we're the day that we're filming this is Monday, um, the day that our BYU Honor Code Stories video came out. And uh, the Mormons have already responded. Just kidding. Um, He was probably talking about this at the same time that it was uh, uploaded to the public. Um, uh, But was it like a BYU devotional? Something like that. Or like their opening thing or something. Which is kind of weird because I thought they usually do them on Tuesdays. Uh, Maybe that's just BYU, Idaho. I wouldn't know. I was just a plebe. Um, But our friend... Jeff Holland, one of the quorum of the 12 imposters, <laughs> apostles. Nice. I th- thank you. Um, decided to make some straight up dummy comments um, in his little heartfelt um, BYU institution worshipy um, speech that he gave today. Um, so I'm just going to roll a clip real quick about some of his comments. Um, and then I'm going to, we'll let you guys know our thoughts. And I'll go to my grave pleading that this institution not only stands, but stands unquestionably committed to its unique academic mission and the church that sponsors it. We hope it isn't a surprise to you that your trustees are not deaf or blind to the feelings that swirl around marriage and the whole same-sex topic on campus, and a lot of other topics. I and many of my brethren have spent more time and shed more tears on this subject than we could ever adequately convey to you this morning or any morning. We have spent hours discussing what the doctrine of the church can and cannot provide the individuals and families struggling over this difficult issue. We have to be careful that love and empathy do not get interpreted as condoning and advocacy, or that orthodoxy and loyalty to principle not be interpreted as unkindness or disloyalty to people. Wow. <laughs> um, I couldn't believe it because it it made the Salt Lake Tribune, which is, you know, the liberal media media of Salt Lake City, which is like really not that liberal, not that left leaning. The Um, church continues to prove that they are not a safe space for LGBTQ plus people. And they're like, like, it's not even they're complicit in oppression like they're literally perpetuating it like this is literally their goal like it's lobbying against gay marriage the ability to you know the whole thing is is just so bizarre to me because when I was in the church I could rationalize it so easily but now that we're out I'm like oh my god like I just want to like yell at every Mormon and be like, you can't like every progressive Mormon that's on the fringe and be like, you get out (laughs) and get out. There's no seriously, there's no reason for you to stay there. You're on the fringe for a reason. Like just take the one step out and they'll push you the rest of the way. All of the doctrine is provably false community. Yeah. So I can be found elsewhere. I don't know what you would be sticking around for. Um, to my friend, Jeff, I'm not even going to call you brother Holland. Definitely not elder Holland because you're not my brother. Those titles are meaningless anyway. Um, to my friend, Jeff, and if you're uh, a Mormon or you work for the uh, strengthening the church, uh, members committee, go ahead and pass this along to him. Uh, cause I know he doesn't care, but, um, just in case there's some sort of a human inside of that shell that you apparently are. If you're going to say that you've shed tears and spent hours turmoiling over uh, some sort of subject, I would expect to see some f***ing action. Usually, when you're that upset over something, it's pretty easy to act. So it makes you look pretty stupid 
when you're going to say that you have been shedding tears and you and the brethren have been really looking for answers to questions, you've taken too long. Lives have been lost. Lives are continuing to be taken by themselves. I don't even know what I'm saying right now, but you look dumb by saying that. You should have said nothing. So stop with the fake empathy. At least just lean into what you're believing because honestly, it's not fooling anybody. So do you have anything else to say on that one? No. I just wanted to keep that brief because honestly, it's not even worth the time of day. These people, the Mormons don't give a shit about the LGBTQ community. Bar, bottom line, I don't care what you say. They are perpetuating all kinds of bullshit and they continue to oppress the LGBT community within the church and within the universities that they sponsor. So, yeah, people have noticed that I, I am pretty jaded with the, the whole church education system. Absolutely. I f-ing hate it. So we're going to move on. <laughs> Um, now that we've uh, set the tone being a little bit heavy, we're going to move on uh, to a little bit about Nathan Sutton. So let's get a little transition action going on in here. We've done a video on Nate and Sutton before. Um, we, we reference Nate a lot because he's uh, great with the homosexuals. His words, not mine. If you haven't watched that video, we'll link it because it's funny as hell. I'll hit it right there. Um, so we've done videos on them before. Nate has some problematic Christian-based, like, oppressive ideas. Um, and I, th- my inclination is that Sutton's just along for the ride. <laughs> Because she's usually really quiet. Um, so she could believe the same things as Nate or worse, but she just doesn't ever say it. Um, so Plausible deniability, <laughs> kind of. So our disclaimer, every time we do a video like this, is people are like, oh my God, you guys were judged, and here you are. You've just flipped the script, and now you're judging other people. It's the same shit yeah. every time. And let me tell you, when these people stop being problematic, we'll stop shitting on them. Yeah, but they continue to grow more problematic because this video starts off with their children again on a monetized video. So, guess who just got added to the shit list of family vloggers? We'll leave you alone when you you know stop hating on the LGBTQ plus community and masking that by being a Christian, and when you stop putting your kids in videos. Sure. End of story. Yeah. So. Once you do that, then we'll be good. But until then, you're just using clickbaity titles, especially like the one today saying we are having to separate. No yeah. other information in the title other than like a little sad emoji. Yeah. So I was like, oh, what's going on with Nate and Sutton? Uh, maybe it's time for another video. And the first one that comes up, we have to separate. I was like, oh, shit, what's going on? So I, I check out, I click on the video and the um, on my phone, the the top comment that comes up um, is a person who says, you lovely people, I appreciate you and your videos, but I found this title was almost bordering on deception slash slash lying because you know that most people would assume you meant separating in marriage and a title like this would make people click. So I was like, oh shit, this is not anything. They just click baited everybody. I was like, well, that's kind of shitty. And then... I went to their channel, and I want to show you guys a little bit of a kind of disturbing trend, so I'll throw a screenshot up here. Um, Let's see, the last, before this, the last six videos, they go 31,000 views, 46,000 views, 58,000 views, 24,000 views, we're on a downward trend here, 37,000 views, 26,000 views at the last one. Three weeks ago. And... um, this would, I mean, these would be great numbers for us. Um, and numbers don't really matter. It, who cares? Um, but they have 180,000 subscribers. That's pretty bad for having 180,000 subs. Yeah, that's abysmal. These are all percentages that are like less than 40 and less than 20% on some of them. 
which they were probably like, oh, shit, um, we're not getting any ra- ad revenue, and that means we get less money. Um, so in the wake of that situation, they decided to give it a clickbaity title, and suddenly they have 72,000 videos uh, views, which is the most that they've gotten six, six months. months. So that's interesting. Um, so yeah, um, I think another, correct me if I'm wrong, Jordan, but I think another word for clickbait would be lie. Lying. Yeah, I think that would be lying. Lying so, for the Lord. Yeah, even if it's for the Lord, that's still, still lying. lying. Um, so with that, let's get into it. I had to skip the first 30 seconds because I don't want to blur their kids' faces over nothing. So it was just their kids eating chicken nuggets and rolling around, so... On a nugget, if you know what a nugget is, then <laughs> you know what's up. Anyway, let's get going. All right, I am off on my trip to California. I just left the family, and I tell you, it's always so emotional. I think I have that same shirt, but I don't think it fits me the same way. <laughs> He does have a great body. What can I say? He's way too tan. For me, leaving them on these trips. Like, I literally sob like a baby every time. Also, don't vlog and, and drive. Um, I'm not fucking idiot. I mean, I'm not exactly sure why that is. I think it's just because I recognize the fact that nothing in life is guaranteed. And, you know, I'm not guaranteed to. I'm not guaranteed to see them again. It's really what it comes down to. And I know it's just like, it probably sounds so ridiculous, but these are the thoughts that go through my mind. I think it just hits me because I don't really leave them that much, but when I do, it's kind of like these bigger trips. So if like I just stumbled upon this video, I feel like I wouldn't know what's going on. Like, oh, they're splitting up because it says in the title, we are having to separate. Well, yeah, and I don't like... It's confusing to me because I don't know where they're going with this. Like, everything that he's saying right now is, like, valid, fine. Feeling emotions about leaving your family is normal. Like, those are, like, having anxiety about whether or not you're going to see them again is pretty typical for a lot of parents. So, like, there's nothing wrong with this. But again, like, you guys clearly aren't actually separating. So, you're separating in that he went on a trip. It's not the same thing. And I'm just a big softie. And I love them so much. Um, yeah, and, but I think it's really healthy for me at the same time because oh God, he's he moving this. over. Just, it gives me like a um, a fresh appreciation and gratitude for. Them. I was like, maybe it's mirrored, and he's not driving. Oh wait, he just checked his blind spot. God, dude. And the life that we have together. This is just, it's kind of an emotional ride that I take every time I go on one of these trips and uh, I'm, it hurts, it's definitely hard, oh God, but I'm, I'm sick from watching this at the same time. <laughs> uh, so here I am, just left them crying on my way out of the neighborhood and uh, it always seems like that's the hardest of my drive to the airport. I don't know why my mind goes through these, down these rabbit trails, but I think a lot like you know, of Oakland and Halston. What if they were to grow up without a dad? Or like, you know, what if I, ne- if I never made it back home? Or, you know, think about Sutton raising them on her own. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I don't know if it's Dude, like- This man think, might have anxiety. Yeah, maybe talk to, talk to a therapist. I hope he does, but- um, It could just be that he's a parent. Yeah. But if you're, that also sounds like me and I have anxiety and that's an anxious yeah. thought that I would yeah. have. Nothing wrong with having anxiety. No, but... I, I'm just like that. I, that, I feel that. <laughs> feel it. <laughs> and that, try, that puts these thoughts in my mind or what it is, but I definitely believe God uses it to make me just appreciate them that much more and appreciate every day that I have with them because it's so special and so easy to forget, you know, what a gift that is. But yeah, this is just me, (laughs) you know, just being real. Just me driving. uh, Vulnerable and transparent with you guys. This is just something that I go through pretty much every trip that I take. Let's 
get little Halsey up. Okay, yeah, I was really distracted by him driving, but what he said was facts, so I'm not going to dog on that. We interrupt this vlog to thank the sponsor. Oh. If I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I <laughs> if I cut that last part, it was just uh, kids, so I didn't want to blur faces, no. so I just cut it. It was like real. This video pop. And oh, by pop, I mean pop. Get it? Pop. <laughs> He's the star of the spot. That's a Their cute dog. Their dog is so cute, though. So what? Isn't it interesting that they clickbaited the title of a video and they have it sponsored? Isn't that funny? Yeah. Oh, that works. And before four people come in and are like, oh my God, because that's what y'all sound like in my head when you are stupid. Um, like, we're not shitting on people for having sponsorships because having sponsorships is fine. But using a clickbaity title that has absolutely nothing to do with your video to get clicks, to get money. I mean, come on. Get that bread, but that's not the way to do it. Call yourselves Christians. Run some ads, play some shit, get some sponsorships, but don't lie about what's it's going on skeezy, in your video. Y'all. What's up? I made oh it my to God. California. Please know with this. Stupid mask off. All right, oh so. my God. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I got some fucking opinions about that, dog. <laughs> I hate those stupid neck, thi- neck things. I hate them. The uh, What are they called? Gators? Gators or something? I, I, I don't know. hate them. I think they are hideous. If you wear I, one, I feel like if you wear one, you haven't gotten a vaccine. <laughs> I don't mean to paint with a broad brush, <laughs> but I feel like that. Then I'm going to use this again. That Venn diagram is mostly a circle. It's a joke. Relax if you're getting your panties in a wad. Yeah, but don't, seriously, don't wear it. It looks stupid. They're ugly. I, I, I'm going to save you some time. Seriously, I actually had a, a huge scare on the airplane. I uh, I would say it was probably top five most terrifying moments of my life. It was very Whoa. short-lived, but it was terrifying. There was some major turbulence. Turbulence oh. is a normal thing, dog. Also, also, they could have titled this video almost plane crash or some shit because yeah, all the be vloggers do that. Baby. Like, There's so many family vloggers I can think of that posted some kind of plane incident for clicks oh my god yeah. so they could have called it that and i would have been like yeah you talked about almost not really having a plane incident so that's an appropriate title but yeah. on the airplane major i mean i'm talking like people were flying in the air including me I might they be- shouldn't have been flying in the air if they have their seatbelts <laughs> on <laughs> But okay. Did you leave the plane? Kind of loose and my head is like almost hitting the ceiling and the flight attendants cart all of their stuff was like flying out in the aisles and it was intense. I mean, it was like really I guess like that I is more than coaster. normal, but And I even asked the flight attendant, I was like, "Have you ever had turbulence that bad?" And she said, "No. That was the worst she's ever had." This but was anyway, her first flight. I made it to California. <laughs> that was a long day of traveling for me. And I'm ready to get my Chipotle. Don't they live in like Georgia? Yeah, I think they live in the south. I don't think tomorrow. that's that. So long I don't even know. Flight, I mentioned but... it, but I'm here in California. I'm filming a wedding. I don't travel often for weddings, but when I do, uh, I go big. I go to the big weddings, like the celebrities. No, I'm just kidding. They're not always <laughs> celebrities, but sometimes they are. Um, we fell for celebrities. And tomorrow is a fancy fire truck. <laughs> Tomorrow is a fancy wedding. It said, "I don't laugh because that's dumb. I laugh because I'm the same way." Oh my god! <laughs> Very fancy venue in Hollywood. Mm. It's actually in Hollywood. Wow, ritzy! And a lot of celebrities uh, rent out this venue. Okay, why are you places. so fixated so on celebrities? Be, it's pretty cool. I'm excited to see what it looks like and show you guys. Um, I just want to make a note here. You guys aren't seeing this because um, I'm just going to cut this bullshit out. It's like, oh, here's the family and here's Nate and back to the family again. And here's Nate Uh, at this part. They're at a little splash pad at the park with their kids, whatever, with their kids. She's literally filming and talking about these other kids like 
like no blurred faces like there's a bunch of other kids there's parents in the background like that's you don't shitty. have set you don't have consent to film those people's don't kids and put it on the internet that's weird yeah don't do that don't be an asshole sutton come on oh yeah check it out also no transitions between the two. like it's literally just yeah, like bam weird. you're in california bam you're back in like yeah right. holy shit california okay <gasps> let me um I'm sorry for all the pausing. I love palm trees so much. I love them so. I I don't know why. I've never. Well, I I lived in Honduras for a while where there's lots of palm trees. But oh my god, I love palm trees so much. Oh my goodness! I just went like to a the dog, hotel, little, and dog. you know you're in California when the self parking for a hotel is twenty eight dollars a night. Would you like that, Oki? That's like anywhere yeah. that's that fun. <laughs> like. yeah. I put on Instagram recently about mom bun. Mom bun. <laughs> I eat a chocolate chip cookie almost every night. And even though Nathaniel's not here, that's where he usually sits. Levi's taking a spot. I'm still doing it alone. So here it is. That is a cookie, man. That's the magic cookie. Sheesh. Undercooked perfection. And people were asking Careful. me my chocolate chip cookie recipe, which I thought was really funny because Nestle all House. it is is the um, Pillsbury Doughboy uh, chocolate chip close. like tube of cookie dough. And I just cut it and cook it. And it's delicious. She just all matter. right. I'm off to my wedding in my wedding outfit. That's your wedding outfit? Today has been... Nuts. Could dress so, up, Nate. So far, yeah, be a little professional. Been getting, I've been getting so many. I guess since it's the weekend, I have been getting so many calls and text messages from people wanting to tour our house that's for sale. And oh, that's a blessing, okay. but man, I don't know how I'm going to handle it today. We have like seven tours today. We told everyone that we want tomorrow to be the deadline. Let me tell you something so right now. We will have if I hired a wedding videographer and I saw that he did vlogs like this, I. I would fire him. <laughs> Honestly, the fact that he's holding what appears to be just a regular camera, nothing like very little stabilization while he's driving. No, absolutely not. No, thank you. Offer in by tomorrow night. Any dresses like this at my wedding? And... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Oh my God. I am so bored. How do people watch this? All right, I'm back in the car. Oh my God. It seems like the car only is in the literally car. the only time I have to vlog. Seriously. Today has been bazonkers. I'm telling you guys, today has been one of the craziest days. Probably one of the most hectic days that I've had in a while. Um, Everything with Nate is the craziest. craziest. The most hectic. The most hectic. The first time. Yeah. Like, dude. <laughs> can't always be that I way. Like I'm sorry. Probably a little bit. Um, at this point, I don't know where we'll be in the YouTube, uh, the final cut. At this point, we've been filming for 35 minutes and 10 seconds uh holy shit i'm so bored but i'm, I'm starting so to see bored. why they titled it the way they did easy plausible deniability right there we're separate the vlog is a cute little play on we're separate because i'm vlogging in california and she's vlogging back at home with the kids and it's literally just her kids honestly um child exploitation to the max so this has been extremely boring. I'm so bored. And like, guess what? I And I hate to break this to everybody. And people probably think this about our kid, but not everybody thinks your kids are th th as cute as you think they are. That's just life. That's just life. You know, I love our son. He's a treasure. He's amazing. I think he's the cutest kid in the world. And if you don't think so, that's fine. I don't care. I don't care. But guess what? I'm not going to put him on camera and act like you do think that way. 
and make money off like of it. Like, they so. might be cute, but I don't want to sit there and watch them, like, literally just run around. Yeah. Like, I have a hard time believing that people actually watch this and find this enjoyable. Like, I... Like, maybe I, it's something to have on in the background, like, when you're doing things. I don't, I don't know, know why but. you would want the sounds of children in the background doing That's anything. That's true. That's true. But... Um, well, first of all, I'm filming this wedding today, and it's a 12-hour day. That's I think that's a Damn. personal record okay, for the that's longest wild. wedding day I've had. Only 12? Solo. Um, and we are filming in four different locations all around L.A. Damn. Damn. And I wish I could pull out the phone at a few of these spots because they're beautiful. We were just at this cliff area doing some couple portraits, and it was a beauty. Why would you need the... Oh, so he could vlog. No, don't do that while you're on the job. <laughs> okay, I'm keeping that in. Oh, the kid is traumatized. <laughs> wow, what a venue. Holy shit. Good morning, Los Angeles. <laughs> Hello, world. Today... Put a shirt on! <laughs> He could have just included like a, a shot of it while he's talking here. This but video is so bad. Family, excited. I wish I had more time to kind of slow down and share some of the day with y'all. And that reception space was like whoa, this. That like, why did you fire. include that little shot? That reception was epic. The groomsmen, the during the garter bouquet toss. That's usually like one of my least favorite times of the day, but. Uh, the the groom and his groomsmen, man, they did like some viral material dance. Uh, I'll have to share that with y'all. That was, this was impressive. And that whole reception not space very was just like well rehearsed. World class. This venue, anyway, man. Time it's to money. catch my flight. I'm excited to go back home to my family. I miss them. I just look at videos of them and almost cry. Let's go, family. Here I come. Parenthood right there. Filming I am so bored driving. by this. Again. I oh am... my god, this is... I know you guys must be thinking about me and worried about me because if you've watched our video about our last argument, this was it of Nathaniel coming home for a wedding and I actually think it was California and it was 9 o'clock at night and it's 9 o'clock at night again. Let me show you. No, it's 8.48 actually. She's filming on her <laughs> phone. And I didn't have any dinner for him. So this time we like made such a big joke out of it and such a big deal. I text him yesterday. I'm like, I'm already thinking about dinner tomorrow. I'm like, what do you want to eat? So I got it, guys. I got it. Look at this. <laughs> he is eating some leftovers. Look at that random meal. But that's actually what he asked for. So at least it's nice and easy. So we're free of a fight this time. I know they it's all I've been thinking that? about throughout this whole video. That but I is absolutely not what I've been thinking about. The whole time I've been thinking about what is the point of this video that you use such a clickbaity title because this is like there's no substance. I do not recommend airing your marital issues on a YouTube channel. No. I don't recommend Dumb. airing your relationship issues on a YouTube channel. Yeah. Or arguments. And like being like, yeah, we had a fight over what I made for him over what he was eating when he was coming home from the airport. Like, don't open up your marriage to the entire that's world. Dumb. Yeah. I mean, unless you want to. Especially over like such a trivial thing. He can make his own damn food. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. How is that dinner? Oh, it's so good. Sutton learned her lesson from last trip. Oh, no. Oh, no. my God. No. You can be a big boy, put on your big boy panties, and make yourself some food. Make yourself a little PB&J. Good God. Before you go to bed. Make yourself a dang quesadilla. Gender roles, man. You're really just leaning into it. Seriously. Hate. Oh, you're going to you know, get so much hate, is what side. she said. I know, and they should have been on my side. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> shut up. right in the world. We're all good again. Cute cow. What are we at, time-wise? Oh my god, that's the end. Are you... You guys, that was the whole video? That I kept got waiting. the most amount of views that they've had in six months. <laughs> my AirPod fell out. I'm so upset. <laughs> Oh my you guys, god. Okay. Like even if 
Nate and Sutton, like, weren't problematic and we didn't have issues with, you know, their, like, hateful takes on things. Like, they're not the most problematic out there. There are people that are plenty worse, right? But there are things that we've addressed in the past that we think are not great. So even take all that away and, like, take our issues with them away and just looking at this content purely for what it is, what the hell? Seriously. You guys are watching like this? Nine minutes of children on a monetized video. Five minutes or probably... Five minutes of just Nate talking about some other people's wedding, which is fine. That's his job, but whatever. And then two minutes of an an ad, like on top of their already monetized video, their their sponsored ad, like which whatever. But we know why you made a clickbaity title. Seriously, yeah, you're trying, and it sounds like they're trying to sell their house, so they need a little extra cash. There's no substance to this video. Yeah. And you, I will cut the shit out of this video because I, I just don't want to. So you're not faces. even seeing all the random kid things that she filmed. Yeah. Like the kids were half of the content. Yeah. And they weren't even really doing anything. They're just being kids. But that doesn't need to be filmed. Yeah. So maybe people are probably going to be like, come on, guys. This has no substance. And it doesn't other than just their kids. We're that a reaction YouTube su- channel. Substance. We're here to tell you that this was dumb. And if that bothers you, then go find another channel. Because I don't care. Uh, we're we're kind of whittling down the people who uh, don't need to be here. Yeah. If you're <laughs> true homies, then you'll stick around. If we, you know, if you're starting to feel a little uncomfy, then maybe go somewhere else. Yeah. Anyway, this, this was it bad. was nothing. And then he had that really stupid uh, comment at the end. So, Like, I know people watch us and they're probably like, this is nothing, but I'm... I'm legitimately racking my brain. It's like the same thing with the mom vloggers who you just like watch them clean. Like unless you're doing it as yeah. like a checkout type, like relaxation type thing. Like that's the only thing I can yeah. do your think thing. Of. Obviously this is like, but this has like nothing. This is nothing. Like I yeah. keep waiting for, for something 70, to happen. 70,000 views suddenly out of the blue over the past six months. Cause people think you're getting divorced. Yeah. Tell me, explain to me that it's not just solely clickbait. Okay, well, that was stupid. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I went with my gut on that one. Totally could have <laughs> talked about something. The first little bit was the most supportive part of the video. Honestly, I could scrap the rest of this. I, I, it's it was just dumb. so... Literally, Jordan and I were just sitting there, like, conversing with each other, not... Because there's As, nothing happening. Yeah, there was nothing happening. And some, you might notice in some of the the cuts that I do that we were like laughing or whatever beforehand. But <clears throat> anyway, um, thank you to those who stuck around. I'm sorry you had to stick around for that. Yeah, I hope you're um, as disappointed as we are. <laughs> yeah, extremely. Um, if you liked what you saw, hit the like button. If you disliked what you saw, hit the dislike button. You know, honest honest opinion is what i want to hear um if you're not already subscribed and you would like to hit that subscribe button um we are going to have we have a patreon um and we are going to have our patron only zoom call this saturday if that is something that interests you go ahead and head over there's like no cutoff date if you want to join literally while we're doing it um go for it like do you um but um so there, we have the Patreon. Check out some of the designs that Jordan has on our Etsy store. Happy Brain Collective. I always have to think about it because uh, my brain is like a Intel Celeron Duo Core processor. It's it's really slow. Oh my gosh, <laughs> dude. Do you need to leave? <laughs> I am crying. Okay. Would you like to do it? No. It's okay if you if it's better for you. No. Go. Okay. Check out our other social media. We have uh, Instagram and TikTok. You can find us at Jordan and McKay. 
Um, we also have a Discord, and it is always popping, so check that out. If that's something that you're interested in, that's also one of the easiest ways to get in contact with us. Um, Instagram messages are okay, but on the Discord, you have like our basically undivided attention if you add us. Other than that, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.